Hello, my name is Michael Evans, and this is Cards and Boards. Today I'm going to be unboxing my Card and Board uh, monthly subscription, uh, which is a Game of the Month uh, subscription uh, done by Offline Board Game Cafe here in St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, they do a really good job. They, uh, if you have, it, uh, if you send them a list of what you have, especially if, if you have your uh, collection on Board Game Geek or what have you, send them a list of what you have. They do very good at, try, at not only making sure you, they don't send you something you already have, but uh, from what you from what you have, they can do a pretty good job figuring out what you like. So, I'm uh, this month, uh, February, I got Munchkin Smash Up, and I got Chrono Dots. Now. If you watched any of these videos before, you could probably guess that I like Smash Up. I got uh, several, I've done a few unboxings, and I have even more. No, I unboxed everything I did have, I think, once. Uh, the majority of them were from the Helicon, ha uh, Helicon Hall, and uh, then I got the Science Fiction Double Feature and what not just Smash Up. Uh, and Christmas, uh, my wife gave me Pretty Pretty Smash Up. So I've been thinking about picking this one up because I actually I like Munchkin as well. And uh, so Munchkin Smash Up. And a friend of mine has a copy of this, so I know it's a good set. So it has the rule books. It's like it's, like, it's the main rule uh, main box. So it has uh, enough for eight players. Uh, the normally expansions are two player thing, but this is a main box expansion. So we have the tokens. We have the uh, so I can get this open. Dividers, <clears throat> divider for the big geeky box. For the different factions and for the uh, new elements as treasure and monsters. So is some of the cards that we that you get in it so I can open it up. Sometimes that's a big if. Understand myself. There we go. Now, so you have I think the cleric deck. Dwarf deck. Fighter, pumping iron, can run away more. This is the not sure which fashion this is yet. Guardian. Or 
hard time with cards. Always have a hard time with cards. I'm sorry. So you can play a mage wizard if you wanted to. We have this game in the base, other base game. The orc deck. So now I can play a orc princess. With this in a pretty brief matchup. I have still have not around doing that yet. I've been meaning to. Like I say, my friend has this and I still haven't had a chance to be the uh, play the orc princess. Against his mage wizard. the uh, deck. Go ahead this deck, I'm guessing. And then the new faces. And the new cards for Treasures and Monsters. So it should be interesting to see how Treasures and monsters go. Want to see if these are the sticky? Gosh, yeah. Kind of hoping to have the gazebo. the turn table but still pretty sure they used it munchkin a few times or at least the deck of doom Or Duck of Doom. Pretty kind of <laughs> big foot. Knights of the Living Dead. Tony the Dragon. Ah, uh, no. There's some of the treasures, though. Smash up. Really looking forward to adding that to my VGG box. And again, if you watch the uh, Halcon Hall, you will understand that reference. Or if you play a Smash up. And 
know. Chrononauts. I don't really know a whole lot about this. Uh, basically, you're a time traveler, I guess. And you have to go through dealing with all the uh, consequences. So you want to be a time traveler. <clears throat> Messing with history can uh, have the consequences. For starter, your, real, your world no longer exists. Then there are the paradoxes, holes in the space-time continuum that threaten to destroy the entire universe. Shuffle up the time machine in a box and start uh, changing history. Well, the fact, time machine in a box and a blue box. Uh, at least I have that little, if nothing else, at least I have that little reference. Okay, so we got, that was a fold out. Rolls. Seven Dragons and Ice Dice Treehouse and Pink Hijinks. Other games I made. Oh, these ones are not in, uh, are not wrapped up. Awesome. Now we have the two decks. Paradoxes, which I hate when it makes up the cards like this. It annoys me. You have the paradoxes with different ears on the back. Again, I don't know idea about, uh, I don't know anything about this game, so you gave me a game that I actually haven't really looked into yet, so that's kind of really interesting because really I spend most of my time, if I'm not, you know, working or editing these, uh, or making or editing these videos, I'm usually watching YouTube videos on games. So, really looking forward to learning this one, figuring this one out. Kind of exciting not knowing. Uh, so yes, so this is, uh, so that was uh, card, card and board uh, monthly subscription from Offline Board Game Cafe. I'll be sure to uh, put a link in the in the description. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, they they really know their games there. They're awesome there.
uh, can cannot recommend them enough. If you're in St. John, give them a shot. If you're not, check out the website and check out uh, Card and Board subscriptions. Again, uh, they are not. We are not affiliated with them. Uh, I just think they're awesome. This is the Cards and Boards. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.